Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working on this jumpy notification system. So um, this notification that jumps in and also jumps back out. Uh, you can customize the text, you can customize the color and everything like that. I'm going to show you guys how to make this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually set it up. And so in our starter GUI, I am going to make a screen GUI. Call it notifications. And then I'm going to make a frame called label frame because this is where um, the text is going to go so we can see it. I'm going to call this label frame. And we need to customize it. Um, so set anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, background transparency to 1 so we don't see it. I'm just going to make it, or I need to make sure I can see it so I can resize it. But I'm going to make it sit in the middle. I'm going to make it scaled so all devices can see it properly. Um, so there's that. We have our label frame and our notifications. So how this is going to work is we're going to have a module script and replicated storage. And our text label is going to be in the module script. So we need to make the text label. So this is the text label that I use in my system. It's just called text label. I have a UI stroke. The line join mode is sent to miter. Thickness is 2.05. Text label. Uh, automatic size is X. Anchor point is to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. These are the best settings. These are my positions and sizes. And this is basically like a really, the this is what I use for my text label. I just have the text set to hey. Obviously that changes. But if you want to copy this, then you guys can. But if you are using a different text label, um, you can do that also. So it's the last look at my properties. If you want to copy those in your text label, uh, make sure everything is scaled so everything looks nice on every device. And yeah, uh, I don't want to take too long on this because we're, we haven't even gotten to the scripting yet. But yeah, um, again, this is my uh, frames properties if you want to look at those one more time. But what I do with this text label is I put it in my module script so that we can use it for later. So let's get right into the programming. So to start this off, I am going to call this notification, the module, change it to notification. Uh, it just makes more sense than to just use regular module. And we're going to need variables to actually make this work. So variables. And I'm going to get tween service. Get service tween service. I have insert on. All right, so tween service, and then we need to um, get everything else. So text label is equal to script. Wait for child text label. We need to get players. The player service. So equal, players is equal to game get service. Whoops. Get service uh, players. And then we need the actual player, so game dot player or um, players on it. Players dot local player. Player GUI is equal to player and players GUI. And then we need to get the notification, like the screen GUI we made. So notification GUI is equal to players GUI. Wait for child notifications. We need to use wait for child because it is going to be required by client scripts. Uh, label frame is equal to notifications GUI wait for child label frame and those are our variables now I call this utils like the utility section um, this is where gonna I'm gonna put all of my uh, settings basically you could put settings there too but this is where I'm gonna put my tween info so text tween starts I'm gonna call it is equal to tween info dot new and this, you guys can customize, but I'm going to set that to 0 0.8. If you want the same thing that I had at the beginning of this video, you can do that too. Oh, I did not mean to. All right, so back here, I need to get my, or the rest of my tween info. So enums not using style dots. I use exponential, or we you have to use exponential to get the effect. Enum dot using direction. And I'm just going to check one more time, but I'm using out, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I need to use out, out, zero, true, and zero. So, it will, um, it will reverse, okay? Uh, now, what we're going to do is get our debounce. If you don't want to debounce, it makes it so we can't spam this, so that it'll break. So, 
This is the debounds, and then tween time is equal to. I have this set to 1.85. Again, you can set this wherever you want. But that's what I have it set to. So now the next thing is actually creating the function that makes this work. So function notification. And I'm going to call this call the function dot new. We're going to take the message. So the message of what the notification will be and that's a string. The color of it, which will be a color three value. And then the text name, which will be the actual name uh, in the game. Uh, we're going to make a new thread by saying task.spawn function. Uh, and I'm just going to add a security check if message is equal to nil or color is equal to nil. Um, whoops, color is equal to nil or text name is equal to nil. Uh, then return end. That just stops it if anything is that is empty. I'm going to say if not debounce, then debounce is equal to true. That's our uh, debounce. I'm then going to say local random rotation will be equal to math.random 1 and 2, 1 between 1 and 2. Now, what this is doing is in my uh, notification, I don't know if you guys could see that, but what I was doing is, oh, what's it with the collaborate button up here? I don't know, it's weird, but uh, what I was doing was it had a random rotation. So it was either slanted one way or the other, and this is how we're going to do that and randomize it. All right, so if random rotation is equal, equal to 1, then random uh, rotation will be equal to 5. Else, random rotation will be equal to negative 5. So if it wasn't 2, then it would be negative 5, and that's our rotation uh, checks. So now what we're going to do is once we got all the setting up, we need to actually clone the notification. So text label, clone, and we need to set everything else. So notification, text, we go to message, notification, dot color, or uh, text color, color three, will be equal to color. Yeah. So color, notification, dot name is equal to text name and then we're saying the uh, rotation the rotation we go to random rotation and then notification dot we're setting yeah when you set the position now and that'll be equal to udem 2 dot new which will be 0 0.5 this is the where I'm setting uh, my position so I just have a, a weird value in here, but that's the, the position I set for mine is right there, so you don't see it, but then we'll tween it in, and this is where we start it. So start tween is equal to tween service, create on the notification, text tween start, and we need to set the position to basically kind of in the middle of the screen. So position, udem 2new Setting the position 0 0.5 comma 0 comma I have this set to 0 0.905 comma 0 and then at the end of this we're gonna call play so that it works and play it all right and then our wait time so task dot wait this is waiting. Um, with the second that we put up here until um, something happens and we're saying notification destroy random rotation nil uh, whoops nil and then debounce equal to uh, false so now this should be it for you guys so how we can make this work oh I forgot to tell you guys but if you want to call this module script something like notification uh, do that so that uh, you're more organized, but what we're going to do is in a local script I guess this one works from an old video <laughs> I'm going to get it so notification. I'm gonna get it uh, Require game that we forward to wait for child notification and then when we say notification we are going to see the new all right, so when we say dot new it has the new right here message color and text name 
okay so we're gonna say dot new and this is where you guys can customize whatever you want so I'm gonna say um, received received uh, like one million dollars I'm gonna say one million dollars the color I'm gonna have set to a gold color so let me do that real quick like a actually a green color cuz money and I'm gonna set the name which I'm just gonna call it notification now I'm gonna make it so I can see this um multiple times so in the base plate here I have I'm gonna put a click detector in it so it, I'm gonna make it so um, when you click on the base plate then we can see the notification because that's how I was doing it in the first clip so game dot workspace Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get base plate. I, I guess that's one on base part base plate game dot workspace for child base plate base plate dot click detector dot mouse clicked This is easy simple stuff and then toss that in there All right, so when we go into the game play the game and We will see the notification that pops up when we click on the base plate in three two one. Oh We might have got an error Okay guys, so what I actually forgot to do was set the parent of the notification. Sorry about that. So if I say notification not parent, I'll make it so we can actually see it. This will be equal to label frame. So now if we do go into the game and when we click on the base plate, and there it is, received $1 million. If you guys want to slow this down, speed it up however you want, you can do that in the settings. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to spam it so you guys can hear this. Um... That's what that debounce is doing. It only runs it once, and it's not like spamming it and breaking it. So when I'm spamming it, it only does it once, however many seconds uh, we put in there. So yeah, this is how you make this jumpy animation that goes in and then also goes back out. And if you look, there's also that random rotation onto it as well, if you notice. Uh, yep, there we go. That random rotation and everything works fine. And now uh, you can put whatever values you want in here and everything works good. If you guys did learn something from this video, or you guys got something from this video, or you guys just enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button uh, and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.